Happy dinner time, everybody. The South Dakota Mines men's soccer team picked up a big win on Sunday, defeating Adams State 3 to 1. Marks the Hard Rockers' third victory of the season. Mines returns to the pitch Friday when it plays at Metro State. Here's a closer look at William Schaefer's squad. So amazing, so amazing. Former assistant William Schaefer is in his first season as head coach of the South Dakota Mines soccer team. And he has a young but talented squad to work with. The big thing is because of the large amount of change and 14 new freshmen, it's a challenge. But I think they've risen to the occasion and just based on watching film and watching them play, uh, they're stepping to that challenge and they're doing it well. So I think a few more games, just a little bit more experience. And this team could be one of those teams that surprises the uh, Armac. Yeah, I think we have some really good leaders on this team. Um, Hayden's a second year uh, captain this year, and then I'm a first year captain this year. And uh, we just do our best to, to do whatever we can for the freshmen as long as, as well as uh, we have a lot of upperclassmen that help out and are willing to be that mentor for the freshmen on and off the pitch. The Hard Rockers have some strong defensive players to go along with a pair of talented goalies. One mistake and uh, the ball goes in the back of the net. So everybody else on the field can miss it. It's got to get through the first 10 players and then that last guy, it's all on him. So I think we have the right goalies, just getting them a little more training and more game experience. One of our starting goalies is a sophomore. So again, youth is, is, is on our side, I guess. Again, we just have young players this year. Rapid City Central product Garrett Cole is one of mine's captains and the senior wants to help get the program headed in the right direction. Biggest goal of the season is just to improve on the team and uh, what we've done in the past. So notoriously, we've been uh, lower table or lower end of the table in the RMAC, and we're just hoping to get a couple more wins and really improve this program and leave it better than where we found it. You know, for the up and coming classes, because we have three. Um freshmen that are starting in the two winger positions and then of course our nine which is our striker and because they're young I think nerves are getting them in front of the goal they're having the opportunity to close they're just a little nervous a lot of pressure and so I think once that pressure uh, alleviates they're going to do just fine. It's time now for another edition of Big O! Fish. And this evening, Carson Miller is our featured angler. Young Carson reeled in his first fish, a 12-inch rainbow trout out of Roby Lake. How about that? Congratulations to you, Carson, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be featured on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the Submit Photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in and we will get you on big old fish nice looking at trout right there Jack now unfortunately it was not a nice looking game for twins fans today the twins ran into a little trouble falling to the Astros by the score of nine to one Houston scored four runs in the first inning and then uh, kept it rolling throughout the game so the Astros now lead the best of five American League Division Series over Minnesota two games to one so the twins will need a win tomorrow to keep their season going all right so what's coming up tonight Vic High school volleyball tonight. We'll have a big match in Box Elder. The Douglas volleyball team going to be hosting Rapid City Stevens. I'll have highlights of that match for you back here at 9 and 10. Stevens boys soccer team playing in the semifinals tonight against Sioux Falls O'Gorman. That game is at the half. O'Gorman leads it 2 0. We'll let you know how that wraps up as well tonight at 9 and 10. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. Well, coming up, if you're in the market for a more exotic type of pet, there's a focus on all things slithery and scaly at an area reptile expo. We'll check that out after the break.